Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Topperwine. Today we're looking at how buildings are now designed like products. Most buildings are boxes. A short box is a house, a tall one is an office tower. The only way you can tell them apart is by exterior cladding. How boring is that? Recent advances in architecture have led to sweeping forms like the Experience Music Project in Seattle or Dublin Airport New Terminal 2. And don't forget the famous Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain, that Time Magazine called the building of the century, proving that lines don't have to be straight and angles don't have to be right. Building projects like these ain't easy. For example, the Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles had an original budget of $100 million and came in at $274 million. That's 170% over budget. As if that isn't enough to make designers run from curved buildings, the contractors complained of 10,000 requests for information from the architect as the project unfolded. The contractors wound up suing for an extra $50 million to cover their costs. Yeah, take that Disney. Guess it's not such a small bill after all. But not all curb buildings take longer and cost more than expected. Let's head to the UK to the town of Bury St. Edmund, the place where according to folklore, they buried a saint named Edmund. There the recent Debenhams department store is one example of curves that work. Nick Belden of the CA Group was the lead designer on the metal cladding with blue lighting that gives the store its distinctive look, especially at night. He reports that there are over 3,200 metal pieces forming the skin, and that because of the unique curve requirements, there are 384 different shapes. The CAD files alone reach 60 gigabytes. This project came in on time and on budget thanks to some great collaboration. This landmark building makes a big statement in the town where they buried St. Edmund, who I suppose must be the patron saint of swanky, glowing throw pillows. Curved buildings hit the road with this environmental award-winning bicycle path in the Netherlands. I've never been there, but I hear they've got a lot of bikes. Keep cars and bicycles friendly, the town of Deventer commissioned a bicycle bridge over a local highway and canal. Design firm ONL won this project by creating an elegant minimalist curve that met the town's on and off ramp grading and angle positions. Bridge design is challenging because of fixed constraints like the ramp locations and the minimum height for the bridge. The designers at ONL input those constraints into their design software, Creo Elements Pro. Once that was done, every future design change they made inherited those constraints so they didn't have to worry about the design element again. You can get a free tryout of Creo Elements Pro, the same software that was used to design the Debenhams cladding and the curved bicycle bridge. Just visit ptc.com slash go slash tryout. That's it for the product design show this week. If you like the show, please give it a thumbs up on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes. We'll be back next week with stories on monster construction equipment.